Okay, everybody. Welcome back to Clark Crew Reviews. I got my assistant with me, Novi. Last night, they premiered the mid-season episode of Supergirl, and we checked it out. Uh, last season, when it ended, Supergirl got the mess beat out of her. She got beat up so bad that she had to get put, get put on life support. I couldn't believe how bad she got beat up. I mean, she had a bloody nose, a busted four, and a black eye, but life support? I didn't think Rain beat her up that bad. But when we start this episode, we open up with a flashback of Supergirl getting beat down. What you think of that beat down? I don't know. I think she could probably have done better. She could have done better? I mean, she could at least put up a little bit more fight, right? She got beat easily. Right. And then the episode starts off, you got Supergirl in the rejuvenation chamber from Dragon Ball Z. You remember when Goku and Vegeta was in that? Supergirl was so beat up, they had to put her in the rejuvenation chamber. I was shocked myself. What did you think about that? I don't know. I didn't even you know. You didn't know? I don't really know what that tube is. <laughs> she they got her water to help make her heal faster. And then you open up and you got Brainiac. So this Brainiac does look better than the villain Brainiac earlier in the season, which was the female actress. He still looks goofy, but he does look a lot like the uh, Brainiac from Legion of Superheroes. Remember when we watched that Legion of Superheroes where it had like the younger Superman went back in time? Remember that at all? A little bit. A little bit. He does look like So it's a better design, but a live action Brainiac's always going to look weird. I don't think there's any way around it at all. My thing is this, okay? They had Supergirl in her subconscious, but then they always go back and forth. Hey, you're an alien, you're an alien, but... Remember your human side too. Like, listen, let her be an alien. She got super strength and all these abilities, but let her have some, just let her kind of carry her humanity with her. Don't make her choose either way. You can have both, you know? It's like the glasses with the way for her to get out and she got the key. Like, she's Supergirl. She's gonna be strong, but she can be down to earth, if you would, you know? What do you think? What do you think about always making her trying to dumb her powers down or dumb her? Her alien side down. What do you think about that? That's probably why she got beat up. <laughs> That's probably why she got beat up. She being too nice. <laughs> and then, listen, Rain, I don't know a lot about Rain. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is she Supergirl's version of Doomsday? I don't know. No, you know who Doomsday is? Okay. She's strong. She ain't vulnerable to this kryptonite. Nothing. She, they attacked her with this kryptonite and the sonic amplifiers, and she ripped it off like nothing. Like, Rain is not playing. She's beating everybody down, okay? But what was funny, listen, I like watching Supergirl. Supergirl can be real cheesy at times, okay? But I do enjoy watching Supergirl. But her throwing this, this rope and her saying she shattered her tibia was a little much for me, okay? I know she's strong. But this knocked her off her feet, shot her tibia. It did make me chuckle. What would you think? It doesn't even look like it was wrapped around her. <laughs> I know it just like tapped her leg and her tibia was broken. I, that must be a strong rope. It just looked like some regular rope to me. Maybe it's Wonder Woman's rope. Yeah, last little truth. It ain't glowing though. What was funny was when uh, she was imitating, uh, John Jones was trying to be Kara. And uh, she was actually acting like the actor, like, you know, brooding and using the big words that they use and the observations. <laughs> Look how she's sitting right now. Like, she's sitting like a dude. It was funny. What did you think about that? I don't know. You didn't think that was funny? I thought that was funny because she was doing his his uh, his uh mannerisms and everything, you know. <laughs> like, I, I thought that was pretty hysterical. One thing I did notice Monel and his and his uh, wife were talking about their mission. Uh, I don't really know too much about the mission. The name of the the people they were trying to fight didn't really ring a bell, but I'm sure that's going to come to play in some shape or form in the Supergirl series. It's going to. It just has to. This is probably some form of foreshadowing. And then this sucker right here. So this pastor, no, in case you missed any episodes, this pastor was like professing his love to Supergirl and how she's the savior. Now. She gets beat up, he jumps the bandwagon, and he's ready to serve Rain. This dude is a chump. He, I hope he gets what's coming to him, too. That's messed up, what you think? I don't 
Why was he in jail? Because he was, uh, what was he doing? He was like corrupting people to, uh, to do acts of, um, he was having people put themselves in danger so Supergirl could save him to prove how devout she is. So they put him in jail for like inducing panic. Now he was, because he got some knowledge of Krypton, so he was on oh, Supergirl, he was praising her. Now she got beat up, so now he's with Rain. That's messed up. He deserves whatever bad stuff happens to him. Chump, she jumping ship like that. He probably tired her out. He might have. You don't jump ship on Supergirl like that, all right? Especially when it's her series. This part was kind of corny. I don't know a lot about the Legion of Superheroes. It was kind of corny putting her rings into the camera, but it was kind of cool at the same time, you know? Corny can have, you know, give you some sense of nostalgia, but it was okay. I didn't really think too much. It was kind of cheesy at the same time. But a pretty intense moment. This part got me hyped. Remember this part? This part gets you hyped up? Mm. Not at all. Oh my gosh. Maybe I have different emotions watching Supergirl than you. This reminded me, she almost did like a solar flare. It reminded me, I think it was season one, where she did that to Red Tornado and blew him up. That was intense. That was one of the best moments of that season. And this, she doing it again, like her face isn't as intense in the one. She was shaking and everything in the other one. But this is pretty intense too. She tore her whole room up. I thought it was pretty cool. It got me hyped in the way they laid the music on top of her. Maybe you didn't feel the same. It would have been cooler if she was like, she was like on the other side of the room and she started lasering or whatever you call it, heat fishing at the door and then she was like walking towards it too. Oh yeah, that might have been cool too. Like on the game? Like on the Justice? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that might have been pretty cool. I just want one episode where they show what Martian Manhunter is capable of. Listen, Martian Manhunter is arguably the strongest member of the Justice League. You can argue with me all you want, but he has every ability. He's stronger than they let him be. He's almost too strong. The actual writers for the series said he was too strong, okay? Just let him get shine in one episode where he beats some superpower villain down, all right? They hold my man Martian Manhunter back. I like Martian Manhunter a lot, but they hold me back. I need an episode where Martian Manhunter just kicks butt, all right? Full potential. No holes bars, Martian Manhunter, all right? What'd you think? What? What'd you think about Martian Manhunter? You want him to get more shine, or are you cool where he's at? Get more shot. He got beat up, too. He does get beat up a lot. Real easy, doesn't he? It drives me nuts. He's stronger than what they let him be. And then I think, from a romance side and character development, I think Monel and Kara are going to redevelop some type of Kindle of their past romance because he was gone for a while, but he's going to come back, see her heroism, um, her kindness, and how people look to her for hope, and it's going to reinvigorate his old feelings. And it's going to cause a rift between him and his current wife. I picture that, all right? I watch enough movies and TV shows to notice, okay? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I kind of see it happening, okay? You remember when they was together? No. You don't? You're killing me right now. You're killing me. They were together. All right. He got sent. He had to leave Earth. He was gone for six months, but it was really seven years. He came back. He had a wife. We're going to have to catch up, all right? But it's okay. I'll fill everybody in, all right? I got you back. That's why we're a crew, right? So, we're also excited for Flash to come back on tonight. We're excited for this series premiere of Black Lightning. Let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of our review of the mid-season premiere of Supergirl. While you're on our channel, subscribe. It's not going to hurt you to subscribe to our channel. If I get a notification that you subscribe to us, I will subscribe back to you, okay? Y'all have a good evening, and we'll post videos for Flash and Black Lightning here in the next couple of days. Y'all be easy, okay? Peace.